this is my five dollar mcdonald's box that's right i went to mcdonald's i did the new five dollar deal um and i mostly because i was hungry um so i figured i would share it with y'all so what do i got here small drink small fries mcdouble you can either get the mcdouble hot and spicy or mcchicken i went for the mcdouble because it's better and four piece nougats with the sweet and sour let's go ahead and open all this up so you can see it i'm a little sloppy with the with the mcdeezer but it's still looking good mcdouble the difference between the mcdouble and the double cheeseburger is you only get one slice of cheese with the McDouble. Which seems like a petty difference, but whatever. You know what I mean? It's not on me, it's on them. Put my sweet and sour over there. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and eat some food, hang out with y'all for a second. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for this food. Pray that you bless it, help it to nourish my body, help me to provide for those who do not have and Lord God and bless the source from which this came. And um Help it to nourish my body, O oh Lord. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Start with a little drink. Diet Coke. My dad's been against the Diet Coke. You know, I used to be a really big ketchup bro, but these days, it doesn't really matter. It don't really matter. Ketchup's not the most important thing in the world. Mmm. I heard y'all been doing. How's it been going for y'all? Mm -hmm. mm. Lots of stuff in the news. You know, you got to get the full variety. We're looking at a lot of WNBA stuff, Caitlin Clark. It's funny. She's like, everyone's talking like, the NBA made the WNBA made her famous. She was famous in college. She's just famous, and I think sometimes, especially now, no matter who it is, um, I was going to say women, but I think it's non-genderless. But people see a famous person, they just get jealous. Like, okay, why is that person famous? I'm not famous. Does she deserve to be famous? Nobody deserves to be famous. Who deserves to be famous? That's not what fame is. Fame is literally just a number of people who, I guess you could say, someone might merit it more if you consider their contributions worthwhile. But for you to d try to decide if someone else deserves to be famous, what you're doing is actually eliminating the fact that everyone else already thinks that person deserves to be famous. And you're saying, I know more than everybody else. You don't have to know who she is. You don't have to know who anybody is. But enough people know who she is that she's famous. I didn't even know that Caitlin Clark was the girl who shot against Steph Curry in the All-Star game. I just happened to watch the All-Star game because I haven't seen one in a long time. NBA All-Stars. And I just happened to watch the three-point contest because I don't even think I saw anything else. And I remember they're like, oh, this girl's gonna shoot against Steph Curry or whatever. I was like, okay. I, I didn't even really watch that part. But I was like, oh, he won fairly. Honestly, in my mind, I remember it being a Hispanic woman. <laughs> to be honest with you. But it wasn't. It was Caitlin Clark. Um, and I've seen her shoot a few threes. She's fun to watch shoot. I don't know. That's why I paid attention. Now I'm paying attention because I never paid attention to the WNBA before. And it's fun to see how certain companies handle their rise, no matter what company that is, especially sports related companies. Cause I'm bigger than skateboarding. Mm. And skateboarding is really fun to watch. Like to watch how skateboarding changes the world is really interesting. It's in the Olympics now. It's one of the most popular things in the Olympics. Track and field has been around for a long time. A lot of those things have been around for a long time, but one of the main reasons they added skateboarding in it's because it's so popular right now and it's bringing a lot of attention to them for some context on how popular skateboarding is 
Nike has a separate YouTube channel for their skateboarding stuff, which I think they still put some other stuff on their regular Nike channel, but they have a separate channel for it. The most popular video on that channel is about 10 million views. Mm. Mm -hmm. And it's a Nigel Houston video. Nigel Houston, if you don't know, he's a phenomenal skateboarder who's been executing at a very high level since he was like nine when it comes to skateboarding. I first heard about him when I was like 17 or something like that. I watched the Element, Element's a skateboarding company. I watched an Element skate video and he was a little kid in that. Um, but anyway, he is on Nike. He's on their skateboarding team. And uh, his, his one of his skate parts um, on there is up to 10 million views. And then I think the next one's like 3 million views. The biggest channel, if that video was on the regular Nike channel, it would be one of the top um, 10 videos. I think almost top five, almost maybe, but I think definitely in the top 10. So I'll let you know. Skateboarding right now has one of the biggest followings in America. Now basketball and football are just huge in America, mostly because it's a lot more than the sports. They're just considered like American traditions. And so people gather around for the events as though they were holidays. But skateboarding is moving fast. I don't know what it will take to get skateboarding to that super mainstream level, but even without it, it has a huge hold on culture. Look at MTV. MTV is almost like 30% skateboarding between Rob Deradek and Bam Margera. Mm. Especially Rob Deradek, but not gonna last much longer. Anyway, though. <clears throat> so. Caitlin Clark is like the skateboarder of the WNBA. She's doing something cool and she has a lot of attention on her. So it's fun to see her really lift up wherever she's at in the NBA. Like the, if you go to the YouTube page for the Indiana Fever, almost all of their top videos are from what's going on right now with Caitlin Clark. Even the WNBA. They actually have a lot of other stuff that's pretty popular, but the game highlights that Kaylin, the games that Kaylin Clark's playing in, the highlights of those games are definitely more viewed than any other highlights. And they're viewed as much as some of their most iconic WNBA videos, because WNBA has like best dunks of Brittany Griner or something Diana Taurasi, who I'm just knowing about right now. <laughs> God's honest. Um, but, um, the highlights from Caitlin Clark's regular old games. And then she's not even on a good team. Um, are some of the most popular videos on that channel. Definitely in the top 30 or whatever. But hmm. It's fascinating. The only thing WNBA kind of shoots itself in the foot, and this is all sports, is that the whole the way the draft system works. It doesn't make any sense. But if you're coming in hot and everyone knows you're the best, you go to the worst team. It doesn't even make sense. I don't even know how many other sports even work like that because definitely if you're a skater, if you're the best skater, you're going to end up on the best team and you can be around the best people who can then push you forward. Um, and you're going to get the best opportunities. You're going to it's, you're going to be able to maximize your opportunities so much so you'll probably end up starting your own thing. Now, WNBA, they don't really want people to become so successful that they're able to start their own team or start their own league. But if you immediately took a player that was already the best and you said, okay, anyone who can afford him can get him. So the, the best rookie immediately goes to the best team and then is playing in the all-star game and having the best opportunities. That person is gonna become so much more famous, so much faster, but that's not what they want in the WNBA. And they because the way that they arrange them, they want the league to become more valuable because that's good for the owners. 
So until someone gets out of, out of that system, some some of those guys realize that. Because skateboarders, if you're a famous skateboarder, like a top level skateboarder, you end up changing skateboarding forever because that's the power that's put in your hand because there's no barriers to it. You know, they don't have like this. They try to make the barriers, but it doesn't work in skateboarding because there is no league, you know? So one team can't really hold a player, can't really hold a skater back. They're gonna end up starting their own skateboarding company. Unless that company gives them Nike level love, Nike look to Jordan level love, like really putting them on, and really wanting to grow with them, that person's gonna leave that team. And they might leave anyway, just off of artistic differences. But, yeah. But, that's how they do in the WNBA. A little boring. That's why leagues, you know, you need so many players in a league to really move, make the whole league better. One person can't make the whole league better because they don't really let them do that, unfortunately. They don't want change. They want money for the next 50 years. They want a team. Indiana Fever, who cares about them? Speaking frankly, other than people in Indiana, no one should have to care about them. But now we're all forced to care about Indiana. We really don't care that much. And that team's going to be valuable for years. There's going to be people who have Indiana Fever jerseys on who've never stepped foot in Indiana. Don't give a rat's booty about Indiana, but they can have an Indiana jersey for years to come. Because, and that's good for them. Is it good for Clayton Clark? Sort of. You know, she got the Nike deal. Which, I mean, you know, so, it kind of works out. But, I don't know if it's the best way. Mm. Anywho. That's that for me. Those are my thoughts on Caitlin Clark, WNBA. Eating five dollars McDouble box. Shout out to McDonald's for realizing that some of their combos had gotten out of price. They always had good deals on. Them. You can get two double cheeseburgers for three dollars and sixty cents any day of the week if you know how to use the McDonald's deals. Had to do it. Thought I saw some drop. Had to do it. Had to do it. Nothing left. Whole meal done. I'm starting to diet, so hopefully that makes up for what I just did right now. Because that was dastardly. But anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for checking out this old video. Stay cool. Stay active. Like so fast. I'll catch you on the next one.